So one of the changes that came to the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max was the new addition of the action button and how it replaced the mute switch that we've had for about 15 or 16 years on previous iPhones. And in my most recent video where I talk about my three biggest updates to the iPhone 15 Pro, I kind of showed off my action button menu, whereas I can use my action button to then shortcut to a bunch of different options. And there was a bunch of comments and people were intrigued as to how to do it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build your own. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, let's get right into this video. And before I do start, I do wanna mention that all this shortcut and shortcut menu stuff that I'm gonna be mentioning can be done on any iPhone, but the mapping to the action button will only be available to the iPhones that have the action button, which are the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. If you still have a 15 or a 15 Plus, that still has the mute switch, so you will not be able to map it to that button or anything like that. But I will show you how to create a home screen action button kind of app icon that still gives you the same idea. where you are able to press one app icon to then have a bunch of different shortcuts available to you. So there are a few different options in terms of how you want it to look and how you want it to feel. I'm gonna show you guys two different options that I have. So this one is the icon option. This works off of shortcut folders, which we'll touch on in exactly what that means. And then the other one relies on creating one larger shortcut to give you this action menu, which we have right here. So depending on which one you like, we'll be able to go through both of them and show you exactly how to set it up. But first, for those of you that are unaware about the action button, like I mentioned, it's only on the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. And the way that you access your action button in general before we get into the shortcut aspect of it is you go into your settings, you scroll down to where it says action button, and then Apple you know, has this brand new animation, this brand new menu that shows you exactly how to set up your action button, right? So you can set it up to do a bunch of these predetermined actions actions like set a focus mode actually still use it as a silent rocker you know open up the camera the flashlight turn on a voice memo translate is always a good one you have the magnifier the shortcuts which is where we're gonna live you also have accessibility and then finally no action whatsoever so this is how you choose it so for instance if you do want to maybe open up your camera you just leave it like that and then you hold down the action button and it's gonna open up your camera, which is great to see. So those are all the predetermined ones that you can choose from. But like I said, we're gonna to stick to the shortcut one. And in order to decide on which one you want, because obviously there's a million different shortcuts that you can choose from that you've created or also predetermined ones, you're gonna click on this button right here to then decide which shortcut exactly you wanna use. So for instance, if I do wanna show my folder, we'll click on show folder, we'll click on my action button menu. And then now every time I press the action button menu, I hold it down. Now I have my menu, which I customize to what I like. So for instance, if I wanna turn on my flashlight, I can do that and you can see that it is on. And then to turn it back off, I just hold down the action button and then press that again. And you can see that it's been turned off. But now let's hop into the shortcuts and show you exactly how to get all this done. So the first method of doing this that we're gonna use is going to be the shortcut folder method, which is one that I personally prefer because it does give you the little icons, which is nice to see. So you can just move out of those whenever you see fit. So the way to do that is you're gonna to wanna to go into your shortcuts application. And like I mentioned, this is where we are going to live. And this is where all the magic is gonna happen. And you're gonna to wanna to go to the actual shortcuts menu, which is the overall menu here, which gives you the all shortcuts, the share sheet, your Apple Watch, and any folders. And now, like I mentioned earlier, this is gonna be all done through folders. So what you're gonna do is click on this plus folder button right here. You're gonna give it an icon, you know, let's give it this one right here. We'll do maybe, you can name it whatever you want, whatever you see fit, we're gonna press add. And then when we go in here, you can see that it's empty. But now what you wanna do is actually go into your all shortcuts button right here. And you can see that I have a bunch of different shortcuts that I've had over the years that have kind of just accumulated. But then also you see that I have my action button menu shortcut. And you can see that there's an empty action folder test right here. Then you also have all these other predetermined ones, which you can definitely add if you want to, which I've added in the past before, like for my Tesla one and for podcasts and things like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start adding shortcuts into this shortcut folder. So for instance, if I wanna add this alarm shortcut, all I have to do is hold down on the alarm, we're gonna move it, and we're gonna add it to the action folder test. So then you can move it up here and you can see that now the action folder test does have the add alarm button. I'm also gonna move this flashlight one, so I'm gonna hold it down. We're going to duplicate it. And then after it's duplicated, we are gonna grab and then move it down. It works just like your home screen. So if you wanna just add it right there, you can do so. So now you can see that we have two different shortcuts in the folder. So as a simple test, what I like to do from here is test out exactly to make sure that it's working. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna swipe up, we're gonna go into our settings, we're gonna go into our shortcut button, and we're actually gonna go show folder, and here, action folder test. So that's what it's gonna be mapped to. We're gonna swipe up and then we're gonna hold down on the action button. And you can see that I have two new shortcuts that are in this folder that I now have access to through the action button. So I can set a quick alarm if I want to, or I hold it down again, and I can turn the flashlight on, like I mentioned before, by toggling it off and on. 
One thing to consider with the action button when you are mapping it, which is something that I had to learn moving forward, is that because I am currently using a folder in Nose to look into a folder, it's not going to have your folder down here by default. You're going to have to type in show folder, and then you're going to click on this, and then it'll show all your different folders that you have on here. So that's great to see. And if I click on all shortcuts, you can actually pull up what I believe it'll show your top eight shortcuts in terms of chronological order. So these are all the ones. So I can have like a built in action button menu inside of the actual shortcut. So again, is an infinite canvas as to what you can actually map this to as long as you know what you're doing on the shortcut side. So now I'm going to switch back to my original folder, which is going to be my action button menu. I'm going to swipe up. I'm going to hold it down. And you can see that I have a bunch of different options. Like I can go play the nine to five Mac podcast. So there we are nine to five Mac overtime. Definitely check us out. That's automatically playing. We'll hold it down again. I have maybe a new note with a date to say hello. We're going to press done there. And then you can see that it does work with the date as a title. So things work extremely quickly with the actual action button. If you're ever in a pickle, if you ever need a situation where you need to take a quick note, maybe jot down an idea before you forget it, that is the way that you can do it. So now let's get into the other method, which is going to be a menu of actual shortcuts. And the way that this is a little bit different, and this is going to be the one that you can actually use to put on your home screen if you aren't using an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max. And this is going to be done in the actual shortcuts menu. So before we were over here, what you're going to want to do is go into all shortcuts. We're going to press this plus button right here. And then before you do any action, you're going to type in menu right here because that's what we're going to do. We're going to be choosing from menu or choosing from a list. I like to click on the choose from menu. And this is what you're going to start to see here, right? This is where we get to actually input whatever we want and input the actual actions. So the first thing you want to do is actually name this so you don't actually forget what it's called. So we're going to call this the action button just so I know exactly what's going on. And we'll press done there. And then if you do want to actually change the icon, because again, if you don't have a 15 Pro or Pro Max, maybe you want to just add this to your home screen, which I'll show you how to do later. We'll just, you know, use this little iPad icon as a default little icon. And then we get into the customization. So this menu piece is going to be the copy that you see. So whatever you write down is exactly where you're going to see. So choose from menu with write whatever you want, you know, maybe options over here. So that's what's going to pop up. And then you have one, two, those are the default menu options. And you can add, I think, as many as you would like. Let's see if we can add more than eight. It looks like you can add as many as you would like to your heart's desire. And it just keeps going back. So I'm going to delete a couple of these because we don't really need all of them. So let's leave it at four. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have to type these in. So this is going to be exactly what you see. So I'm going to do flashlight. I'm going to do maybe screen orientation. We can also do, you know, open X. And the last option will be silent. So if you do want to actually use this as a volume rocker or a you know mute switch, we can actually do that. So now that we know what options we're going to set, again, this isn't going to be the actual action that's going to be set. This is just a cop. Because now if you go down here, you can actually see all your options. So what you're going to do here is actually going to find the shortcut. So for instance, for the flashlight, we're going to type in flashlight down here. So it says set flashlight. And then as you can see, it does move all the way to the bottom. And what you're going to want to do here is actually hold it down and drag it underneath the flashlight. And then instead of turn flashlight on, we're going to tap in here and we're going to press toggle. So then whenever you click that option, it's going to toggle the flashlight no matter if it's on or off. And then same thing goes for orientation as you start to fill these in. So orientation, set orientation lock. Let's hold it down, put it underneath. We're going to leave it as toggle because that's what we want. The next one we're going to do is, is we're going to go on scripting. We're going to go to open app. We're going to move this over. We're going to tap on the app that we want to open. So then you can see open X is there. And then finally, we're going to go with set silent mode. So we're going to move this. We're going to move it to underneath silent. We're going to go with toggle again. And then there you have it. You have your end menu right there. We're going to press done. So technically, if you press this button right here, it's going to give you all the options right on top. So if we do want to set that as our actual action, we're going to go over here. We're going to go into action button. We're going to select which action we want to do. Action button test V1. We're going to set that up like that. And then voila, if you hold down the action button, it'll give you all the options. So if I want to do flashlight, you can see the flashlight is turned on. Hold it down again. We'll press this to turn it off. And then maybe we do want to open up Twitter. We're going to open that up. It'll take you directly to Twitter. If you want to hold this down, we want to put it into silent mode, you can do that. You know, everything works as intended, and that's how you create your shortcut menu. So like I said, the sky is the limit when it comes to this situation in the shortcut. But what I do want to do to end this off is to show you exactly how to put this onto your home screen. So for this instance, because there is the X app right here, it's going to default to that actual app icon. But we're going to choose a different icon, like I mentioned, because I want it to be the iPad one, because I don't want it to be just X. 
and then you can actually add it to your home screen. So, so for instance, if you do not have a phone that has the action button, you can just tap this and it'll give you the same exact situation for you to be able to choose exactly what shortcut you wanna use. But that is how you set up that actual action button shortcut. So you basically create a shortcut, map it to your action button, and then that shortcut will run according to exactly what you set it to do. But let's finish up this video. Hopefully this helps somebody out. So as long as Apple continues to let us map the actual action button to a shortcut, it's essentially an infinite canvas of what it can do. You can create menus, you can create home automations, you can just shortcut into one specific app or one specific action. So pretty much the sky's the limit. And now that you know exactly how to build your own shortcuts menu in different ways with different actions, now go for it and let me know exactly what you end up doing with your action button and what menu options you end up creating. For me, I like to keep it simple. I just wanna be able to have reachability on some of the things that I do most often. And that's what made me decide to actually choose these different shortcut menus. And they're very customizable, they're very easy to use. And I'll link some down below. And again, I used a bunch of different resources from Steven Robles' YouTube channel to other Reddit forums and things like that. So definitely take a peek into those if you guys wanna learn a little bit more. But that's gonna do it for this video, everybody. Let me know if you learned something new. Let me know what you end up doing with your action button. If you're gonna keep it kind of standard with what they have built in or if you're gonna go crazy and make some insane shortcuts but that's gonna do it everybody if you made it to the end leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so i know that you made it to the end and if you guys want to watch more videos like this one click on one of these right here and until next time i'm fernando and i'm out of here everybody peace if you guys want to watch some accessories for the iphone definitely click on this next video